Hi, my name is Jamie and I think modifications are sexy. So I have a yoga teacher, her name is Steph, and I really just take a lot of the things that she says really to heart because I really respect her and I look up to her as a yoga instructor. She's my teacher, I take class with her more often than I think I take class with anybody else. Um, and she has this phrase where she says, modifications are sexy. And I absolutely love that phrase. After yoga class today, I felt really inspired to kind of have a little bit of a chill conversation about um, using modifications, using props, using the blocks, using the blankets, stuff like that. So I have my blocks. I have a nice cute little cork set of blocks. I have a cute little yoga blanket and all that. And I use them on a fairly regular basis. I use them in my home practice, I use them in class. And they help me out a lot in my practice. They help everybody out a lot in your practice if you're willing to go and use them. They give you support. They can help you stretch deeper, all that jazz. And I've just found that in the yoga community, even if people don't say so, and this definitely doesn't apply to everybody, I think that this only applies to like a select few people and maybe beginners who aren't quite sure about what yoga is about yet, um, that I find that some people kind of think that when you're on level 1000 and when you're like really, really good at yoga, which is a phrase that I hate, and I'm gonna do a video on that eventually about why I think you shouldn't say that you're good at yoga or whatever. Um, people think that if you're good at yoga that you shouldn't have to use props um, and that they are in some way for people who are less advanced in their practice. And that to me just like, like it hurts to see people feel that way and to reject something that could totally help them open up so much more into their practice because using blocks and using a blanket doesn't necessarily mean that you're not like good at yoga or that you're not advanced in your practice. They can help you with like a whole lot of things and I don't know people see me like on Instagram and stuff and they or in class or whatever and I'm one of those people that gets that phrase thrown at them a lot that I'm good at yoga because I do a lot of more advanced postures and I use props all of the time. I have had pretty bad knee injuries. If you saw my yoga story video, you'll know that like I was a ballet dancer for a long time and I walked away from that experience with really bad knees. And when I do, even things like tabletop and cat cow, I will put a blanket under my knees and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean that I'm less advanced than the person next to me who's not doing that because I happen to have something with my knees and that's totally fine. And even when you're in, for example, like side angle, warrior two side angle. Now, when you have a block, I know that there are some people, I've seen them around and I've talked to them not very often, but in my life who think that you shouldn't have to use blocks when you're more advanced but when you think about like when you're in side angle and then you want not to leave your forearm resting on your knee you want your to reach for the ground but maybe your hands not completely at the ground yet if you don't have your block with you, even though you are advanced enough to maybe reach for that block on the ground, you're not gonna do it because you can't reach the floor yet. It's a perfect way to kind of meet in the middle of like lots more advanced postures and some of like the starting places of those postures. If, you're, if you don't have any way to get like a higher progression, it's gonna take you longer to get there. I just think that the props can be used in so many super effective ways and that if you're ashamed of using them, it's gonna hinder you. I, and there is absolutely no reason to be ashamed of using props, even if you're using them because you can't get into the full extension of a pose, even if you're using them to aid you with an injury or something that you're feeling pain with because they're there for a reason. They exist because people use them. So if you're afraid to use props, I'm here to tell you I use props too. And 
If you meet somebody who's judging you for using props or if you feel like someone's judging you for using props, first of all, they're probably not. <laughs> but if you know that they are, they're not worth your time. <laughs> so I don't know, that's kind of all I have to say about my props. I love my blocks. <laughs> All right. See ya.